Okay, our next poem in our selection is Catullus 39, which um, on the spectrum of his seriousness of his topics covered uh, is much more trivial than the others. Now with this, I've just, um, because some of the English translations are quite long, I've um, made the lines different colors, just so you can see that that's one, lat one Latin line, two Latin lines, three, four, et cetera, because a lot of them take uh, two, two lines in English or just more than one, so it's not quite clear where the line breaks up. Okay, anyway, uh, in Latin, they always say noun, comma, when, or noun, comma, because. We can just say because the noun. Because Ignatius, so someone he knows called Ignatius, habet candidos dentes, has white teeth, object. Uh, renidet usque quaque. So usque quaque is just an adverb meaning all the time. He smiles all the time. If someone comes to a defendant's bench, so uh, now this is an impersonal verb. So literally, if it is come by him, understood. So you can just say, if he comes, or if, uh, sorry, uh, it says if, um, oh no, in this case, yeah, if, uh, in this case, you'd say if someone, I don't think it says the word someone, yeah, it doesn't. Um, if, or hang on, if someone comes to defendant's bench, or is it like saying, if the bench is come to, I guess, yeah, so if, uh, but just yet. Yeah. Um, or it could be, if it is come to by, by someone, sort of understood, ad subcellium, towards the uh, bench rei, is nothing got to do with race, race, rem. Um, it means of a defendant. So it's a genitive form of, I imagine, reus. Yeah. Uh, cum, when, the orator, the speaker, excitat flatum rouses weeping so subject verb object uh, and that is from the fourth pp of fleo 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 fleto so having been wept or having wept is the same word as fletus fletus weeping so uh, fourth pp um so pvp which morphs into a fourth declension noun which turns into a conceptual noun he smiles ile renidet uh, again someone is the understood um subject here so someone lugator, someone is mourned. So um, a lot of these words like mourning and groaning and things like that um, tend to have a U sound, which is, um, which is quite sort of suggestive of the sound. Um, a wailing, so ululatus, words like that. So the U sound. If someone is mourned, so that's a passive form with the tour, at a dutiful son's funeral pyre. So ad, um, if it's got a non-motion verb, can mean at or near. Rogum, a funeral pyre. Pe, like the word pious, as in pious Aeneas, dutiful, of a pious son. Now that can be filii, but poetically it can just be fili. When the bereaved mother weeps for her only son. Cum, orba, mater, bereaved mother. Let, flare, 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 weeps for her unicum. So her, it's like her one person, her only son. Again, Ignatius, he, ille renidet. Quid, quid est, whatever it is. Ubicum que est, wherever he is. Quod cum que agit, vocab 19, whatever he is doing, renidet, he smiles. Habet hunk morbum. He has this disease. So hunk agrees with morbum. Hick, hick, hock, hunk, hank, hock. And morbum is masculine singular um, accusative as well. He has this disease. Uh, we have got neque, neque. So neither, uh, and that has to agree with morbum as well. So it still remains accusative. Neither uh, elegant, ut arbitro, deponent verb, as I think. It's not so that because arbitro is just indicative nor urbanum, nor refined. So that's the difference between um, rustic and urban. So when you say, 
if someone is not um, civilized, they're not you know, technically sort of like from the city. Um, so they're, they're um, like a, a country bumpkin is the kind of loose term you'd say. So um, yeah, there comes a bit more supposedly sophistication uh, with people from the city. Um, so yeah, urbanum is refined. Uh, and therefore I must warn you. So quare just means, and therefore, it's just a peculiar word. Um, yeah, literally. So another impersonal verb. It is to be warned you, which doesn't really make sense, for me or by me. So, um, oh, good Ignatius, vocative forms. Oh, this is like Sancte Ignati, except it's bonne Ignati. If you were refined, so uh, here's C and you have a, an imperfect subjunctive, but because it's in subordinate clause, um, you can just treat it as if it's its indicative equivalent. So eras, if you were refined or a townsman, uh, they just go through a bunch of um, places where people are from. Ort sabinus, so sort of different areas or tribes, or a Sabine or a Tiburnian. I'll scroll down here. or a pinguis umber, a rich Umbrian, or obesus etruscus, a fat Etruscan, oh, where we get the word obese from, obviously, or, um, or, or an atter, a swarthy, that means, um, that means black or dark, but it's more like um, sort of darker features, darker complexion. Uh, not necessarily dark skin, but just, um, yeah, so definitely not like blonde hair, blonde hair, blue eyes kind of thing. Uh, swarthy, uh, atque dentatus, toothy, because it looks like having been toothed. Yeah, so dentatus, um, lanuvian, or transpadanus, or a transpadane. Uh, again, ut here means as. Um, now, to... Oh, no, 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 no. Um, sorry, that's, um, it's, it's a subjunctive because a ting game is clearly diamond, print subjunctive. So that I may touch, as in mention, like um, mayos, my own understood people, quoque. So if you see just the my and just it's in a certain number gender case, it's just on like my people, my people, your people, his people, mayos to us as well. Or qui lubet, or anyone at all. Qui, who, lawit, lawo, lawet, one of very rare first, first conjugation verbs, which is not are we, because lawawi is a bit um, odd to say. So you can just say lawit. Who has washed, but you'd say, when you're talking about washing your dentates, you'd say, really brushing your dentates, brushing, who has brushed his teeth. Uh, purite, like the word purely, see that um, third declension adverb regular ending, like fortite, calerite, uh, cleanly, where we get the word pure from. Uh, tamen, however, but nevertheless, um, I think all the same sounds good as well. I guess you can say nevertheless. I would not wish. So nolem is I might refuse or might not wish, but would sounds good here. I might not wish, uh, now here we have an indirect statement, that you, or you can literally say you to smile, or that you smile, and we've had usque quaque again all the time. Nam, four, uh, nulla est, nothing is ineptio, like the word inept, and it's comparative, cilia, Ah, and then it's being compared to risu, which is just put in the ablative. Then a, and this is just the positive form of ineptio, then a silly risu, smile. Oh, sorry, nulla race. So race is, um, race is uh, uh, feminine. Um, and by the way, I passed a house just the other day and it had on its, um, like it, it had a Latin motto and I'm not sure it was a house or some sort of, um, organizations building but it said uh it said bonar space so good it said good hope on it so nulla race is quite similar 
Uh, anyway, so uh, now you are a Celtiberian, so that's where Ignatius is from. Nunc es Celtiber. In the Celtiberian land, in Terra Celtiberia, uh, quad, uh, under sin, what, or literally the thing understood, which. Quisque, everyone minks it. Uh, that's a uh, perfect um, form. Um, so has urinated. Hoke, with this, solet. He is accustomed, uh, literally, it is accustomed, impersonal sibi for him. You'd expect to have a, an infinitive coming up. Uh, defricare, uh, to rub his dentem, literally his tooth, but you take his teeth. Oh, sorry, mane, early in the morning. Uh, rub his teeth, uh, atque gingiwam and gum. You can just say gums as, as if it's gingiwa. So gingivitis is some gum disease. Uh, red, rusam, until they are red. So like the country of Russia, um, just a, a red country, literally. Just like Argentina is a silver country. Um, so that, so we've got ut and, um, yeah, it's a bit weird because it says ut and a, um, an indicative. So that uh, now quo here can mean quo with a uh, comparative, um, comparative, just comparative adjective or adverb is not just more, but the more. I guess, um, I'm not sure I, I'm not sure I covered this in the uh, podcast, but just uh, St. Kilda's motto, fortius quo fidelius. So what is more strong? So it is more strong. So the organization, fortius, so neuter, the more it is loyal. Yeah. So that explains a quo fidelius. So quo plus a comparative is the more. So that the more ex politio, polished, those teeth, those, so literally, he's just putting in the singular for some reason, iste dens, that tooth is weste of yours. Um, prideket, so future tense, am ace et. Uh, now, I think one would sound good here. As in, so the third person singular can be he, she, it, or one, like one does not simply those means. So one will proclaim, like the word pre um, pre and say, so proclaim. So say before, one will proclaim uh, in direct statement, te, that you, perfect active infinitive, have drunk, um, hoc lo ti, this of urine. So literally, uh, this, this, um, it's, it's a really strange partitive, but this of um, this genitive neuter singular understood thing having been washed away. So uh, again, lawo, laware, lawi, lautus or lotus. So I guess a lotus plant, one that grows in water is having been washed. So literally this of a having been washed away thing um, so one loosely, one will proclaim that you have drunk this of urine. So that's what a having been washed thing means. Amplius, so like the word amplify um, to make bigger. All the more understood greatly. Okay, so again, I'll give you some ANS, and um, that's it for today's uh, poem. <laughs>